everyone, today it is about when you faint while arguing with him. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. The tension in the air was palpable as you and Bakugo engaged in a heated argument. Words flew like sparks, each sentence a volley, and a clash of wills. Why do you always have to be so damn stubborn, Katsuki? You never listen. You exclaimed, frustration etching your futures. Bakugo, never want to back down, shot back. Maybe if you weren't so damn reckless, we wouldn't be in this mess. The argument intensified, each word a sharp blade, cutting through the air. The city lights outside seem to flicker in response to the charged atmosphere within the room. You felt the weight of the argument pressing down on you, a surge of emotion, threatening to overwhelm you. As Baku continued to argue his point, he suddenly felt lightheaded, the world around you spinning. I really can't believe you sometimes. He grumbled, unaware of the shift in your demeanor. You tried to retort, but your vision blurred, and a sudden wave of dizziness hits you, like a train. The room seemed to tilt, and you swayed on your feet. He noticed the change, and concern flickered in his eyes. What? Are you okay? He struggled to maintain composure clutching onto a nearby surface for support. I'm fine, just... just give me a moment. But the world continued to blur, and the edges of your vision darkened. Marco's voice became distant, as if echoing from a fairway place. Moyan. His voice cut through the haze, just before everything went black. When you regained consciousness, you found yourself on the couch, the city lights outside, casting a soft glow through the window. Marco sat beside you, his expression a mix of worry and relief. What the hell happened? You groaned, rubbing your temples. You fainted, idiot. He grumbled, but there was an undeniable undertone of concern in his voice. You sighed, realizing the toll the argument had taken on you. I guess we both got a bit carried away. Bakugo huffed, but his future softened. Yeah, well, next time, try not to pass out on me, you dumbass. Nia chuckled weakly, appreciating the attempt at humor. Deal. Let's just take it easy for a while. The argument, now suspended in the air, hung between you like an unresolved cord. Bakugo still visibly shaken by your fainting spell, spoke more softly. We need to find a way to argue without you collapsing. You nodded, and you found understanding settling between you. I know. Maybe we both need to tone it down a bit. As the lights on so you continued to fade the night, you and Bakugo found yourselves in a shared moment of vulnerability. The argument had relieved the cracks in your communication, but it also presented an opportunity for growth. Bakugo leaned closer to you, his hand gently cupping your cheek. Don't scare me like that again, alright? He smiled, touched by the rare tenderness in his gesture. I won't. We'll figure this out together, Katsuki. And so, beneath the glow of the city lights... You and Baku embrace the complexities of your relationship, navigating the challenges and learning to communicate in a way that wouldn't leave either of you breathless. In the aftermath of the intense argument and your unexpected falling, a new dynamic settled between you and Bakugo. The air, once charged with tension, now carried a weight of introspection and a shared determination to make things better. Bakugo, still seated beside you on the couch, seemed to wrestle with his own thoughts. I didn't mean for it to get this far, Moyan. I just... I get worked up. You nodded, acknowledging the underlying issue. And I get it, Katsuki. I know it can be reckless, but you both have our faults. He sighed, running a hand through his hair. 
Doesn't mean we have to kill each other with words, though. The sincerity in his tone caught your attention. No, it doesn't. We're both strong personalities, but we need to find a way to disagree without it turning into a battlefield. Baku nodded, a rare humility in his gaze. Yeah, I don't want you passing out on me every time we argue. A small smile tugged at the corners of your lips. Deal. Let's make it work together then. As the conversation shifted towards a more constructive tone, he leaned back, the lines of tension in his face gradually easing. The city lights outside, now a serene backdrop seemed to witness the sad understanding that unfolded between you two. In the days that followed, you and Baku made a conscious effort to communicate more effectively arguments, instead of escalating into a verbal battleground, became opportunities for compromise and growth. The city lights, a constant presence in your shared space, bore witness to the evolving dynamics of your relationship. One evening, as you both sat on the balcony, the lights below casting a soft glow, Baku spoke with a newfound sense of vulnerability. I don't want to hurt you, Mohan. I just... I care too damn much. You reached for his hand, intertwining your fingers. I care about you too, Katsuki. We just need to find a balance. He nodded. A sound agreement passing between you. The city lights, like stars in the night sky, seemed to echo a sentiment. A reminder that even in the midst of the challenges, there was a shared journey to navigate. So, I've been thinking about us, Wayan. About how we can keep going like we did. Agreed. We need a healthier way to handle disagreements. Maybe we should really try talking things before, before they get out of hand. Like really talking. Well... I'm in. Let's make an effort to understand each other better. All right. I'd love that, Moyan. He cupped your cheeks in his hand and kissed you on the forehead. One evening, as you both stood on the balcony, Baku spoke with sincerity that echoed in the night air. We're getting better at this, aren't we? He leaned against the railing, smiling. Yeah. And we'll keep getting better together. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And goodbye.